Oh, that's a lot of wood. Today I'm in the wood yard, I'm up at Ken's and he's gonna show us what he's got for wood. We're gonna do an inventory run. We're gonna see what he's got. I already, got I already did inventory, but <laughs> I've been dipping into this. So you can see there's a roll gone. So if this, from here to that end is six full face cords. So divide by three, it'd be two full cords. Two full cords each row. One right? row from here yeah. all the way down to there. So in here, let's see, one, two, three, one, four, two, left. three, four left. Four left. And I haven't touched this side yet. Yeah. I keep pulling off the outside because it's easy just to grab the outside roll without, and I don't have to take the tin off. I don't have to move all these blocks. Right. And yeah, a lot of guys made comment to me because I cover a lot of times just with tarp. You've got tin, you've got rubber. Tin and, and tarp and rubber. Blocks, and you put all this weight up here because you're out in the field here and it gets windy. You get a windy day, everything's on the ground. Yep. So you can't is believe better. how many tons it takes to hold that tin down on a windy day. Oh yeah. I but what I do is I put the pallets on there and then I just take the tractor with the forks and I throw some heavy stuff yeah. on these the, the stuff over on this side over here this is all that perfect wood this is me. that pretty wood that actually chris had on video about a year ago yeah about a year ago he did this that, that was is, yeah that was the end of the perfect that's wood some beautiful stuff there that's like too too good to sell and you know like see i dipped into this side already and same thing yeah because i got people that are wood snobs and you know, <laughs> oh i want this size i want this species so this is all maple that's all hard maple and over here is a lot of mixed stuff, right? But this is this perfect stuff here. This is almost all oak. Right. Now this is mixed. This is maple. I could see some ash in there. I can see some oak in there. There's some yellow birch in there. This is the last of the reject wood I bought from the Park Falls Mill. Right. It was all their reject wood. This is like the last stuff they had. I think. And this is this is what's left. Right. So. So then, and this is a prettier you know, small maple for yep. your, your stoves. So these piles originally, when there was nothing robbed out of them, were 30 phase cords each. Each one of these piles was 30. That was 30, that was 30. Well, there was, there's another one back over there with it way back, that's 30. These are all 30, 30, 30. And this over here is And this one here, stuff. yeah, this is that beautiful stuff that's now going out the door. Because this is your oldest stuff right here, right? Yeah. You're selling a lot of this. So there's yeah. only, these are three cord rows, there's two cords left. So there's six phase cords left of this pretty stuff, at least in this pile. I mean, there's some piles here and there scattered. And over here, this is all old That's stuff all too. maple. That's all ready to go. So what do you got left that you could sell right now? I, maybe, maybe about 200 phase cords. Yeah. Which I really don't want to even sell any more wood. This, yeah. I'm already digging in these piles. This was gonna be next year's sales. Yeah. So I'm selling next year's inventory already. I'm getting Everybody's nervous. selling wood, not crazy. I don't advertise. Yeah. It's I all know. word of mouth. I know. So it's what stupid. have you sold this year, do you think, so far? 400 oh. base cords, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's a bunch. It's hard to see, because I do a lot of trading, too. Right. I do a lot of horse trading. Well, huh? a lot of people ask me, you know, like, how much have I, you sold? I trade I, I trade I don't for... Have time to sit around the cone. I got work to do. <laughs> I trade for mechanic work. I trade yeah. for beef. I traded for a quarter beef last That's year. Barter I traded a guy for more tin. I traded... I, I Didn't do you trade one guy for more logs, too, that you, you I, supplied firewood for him? I got guys that, yep. I got guys that trade for labor. Go cut a job. So you know, this here, I see starting right here, you got bigger starting stuff. Starting right here, this is small. that big oak. That big oak we were chasing around on the ice Those last great spring. big four footers. From here down to there. So, so all that, yeah. how many, I don't even know how much like that you is. You gotta be like six rows wide. So like. that's three, and that's three, so that's six. And then there's a one cord row on the end. Don't step on that, you'll wipe out. This is it. That heavy plastic, oh, it's yeah. so slippery, I can't keep it on top of the piles. Oh yeah, that's, that's like an ice rink. Yeah, that is slippery stuff. I can't keep it on the piles. These are deep. I think they're seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've so, had people ask me too, because I go five wide quite a bit. People say, well, is the stuff in the inside dry? Yes. Well, two but, years from now, yeah. Yeah, two years from now. I usually, 
I like three because the middle section drives from both ends just fine. Right. But if you go four or five wide, what I do is I take the outside stuff early and leave the inside yes. stuff a couple yes. months later. Yep. Yep. And then take that, you know, two or three months later and it's like well, especially if fine. I get like some a boiler guy that wants something in the spring to run low. It doesn't matter. It don't matter for them guys. Right. So it's seven by what did I see? Well, four. I gotta look, where do we start here? Way down here. So that's three, that's three. Seven by seven, that's 49 face cords of that big oak. So if you want an old full cords, divide that by three. That's one roll, that's a lot of wood. That's a big pile. That's a long pile. It, took, it probably took me a year. I don't know. But you're in a good area because it's all pretty much out in the open field here. So for drying, yeah. this is perfect. Yeah, it gets wind and sun out here. A lot and of I, people put their wood up in the woods. No. It's in the shade. It's got to breathe. Oh, you got, it's got to breathe. It's yep, got to breathe. Exactly. Now let's go to the other section because this is just a start. Yeah, this is section number two. So this is Todd's wood. This is my rent here. He actually got about half of it gone. Yeah. He generally waits till November till he starts cutting his firewood. So it's this has been laying here all summer. Because it's a big boiler, it just doesn't matter. So, but his woodshed is almost full, which is good. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna this is a cedar. Bundle. And that big red tarp up there is pretty cool. I got that for free. That's, that's one of the ones you see on a semi truck where they tarp yep. their load. Yep. It's very heavy, hard to handle. Yeah. So yeah. of course, yeah, that's a nice heavy. Of course one. the wind blows on that too, but it's. So this is all your cedar This here. is all cedar. And this was cedar here? No, this was all good firewood. I got you just saw. a little bit of leftovers here. Yeah. I didn't clean up my mess here yet like normal. Yeah, so this is all cedar that we're gonna bundle. So this kind of stuff. So how much cedar do you think you got left here? Well, how many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five it looks like. Five? And them are, let's see, they're, they're well over, they're probably six feet tall. Yeah, they're at least six. They're, yeah, yeah, just yeah, say yeah. six, I would guess about six. And that's a, probably a three chord roll, so three. Mm, so it's a chord and a half every eight foot. Do the math. It's a bunch of wood, that's what I would it's tell a bunch it. Of wood, it's yeah. a bunch of wood. And then this, this is all maple here too. This is, uh, I don't know how many rows are here yet. This is this could be sold too. Next year's inventory. So this is, let's see. Them are three cord rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 18 face cords right there. So what is that, six full cords? Divided by three, right? Yep. Yeah. So this is all nice hard maple. Yep, looks good. Looks like good stuff. Ready to go. And that stuff dries pretty fast. Well, when it's cut this small too. Yeah, yeah. That's the other reason why a lot of people ask me why I cut my stuff this, this size. Number one is because what my customers want. I've mentioned that lots of times. They want stuff smaller because they don't want great big huge pieces. But it dries faster and it burns better. Well, and you get some people that have little small stoves in right. their living well, room or right, fireplace. That's, right. or, and that's my customers. I'm not selling the people with boilers that want great big all nighter. I have both, so I have a. I kind of have small, medium, a large. Right, you know, right. I pretty or, much. I have 90%. They want small stuff. The number one comment I get people will say is I don't want any stuff real long and I don't right. want any real big pieces. Give me some small stuff. Right, so I here's the last the of, here's the last of the rent that we didn't get done because we just didn't get it done. This is stuff to get cut up yet. Yeah his woodshed's full pretty much. So well, let's go to the other section. So Todd, my landlord here, anytime I get wood that I don't think I can sell or don't want to whittle on it. So see we got this funky. rod. Yeah. Funky you got a good center here, good good hard maple. It's Some like, I just throw in a pile and call it Todd Wood because I don't want to deal with it. His right. boiler or burn anything. Yep. So this is the leftover Todd Wood from that last load of big oak. And what's I don't know if you guys here? remember. And what's this? That's uh, campfire wood, but not really. I'm saving that because I sell bare blocks. White pine? Yeah, it's white pine. The bark's off, so it's... Yeah. it's I didn't cut that up for firewood because I sell bare blocks for bear baiting. And I sell it with a cover. Oh yeah. 
So that's the last of the big pine I have for cover wood. Right. So I know that it's white pine. I know how to tell it's white pine. Tell the people how to know it's white pine when there's no bark. Well, a big tail, see that white ring of sap? Yep. You see this ring? Right here, this it's, ring. It's way here. more obvious on the other one. Yeah, right here, you can see that ring all the way around on the outside. And the other one, I don't and think You can see a little bit of bark here, but. Yeah, it's, but once the bark's off and it's off the ground, it's, it's pretty sound yet, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like there's a piece over there, that short one. That's the last one I was whittling on for covers for bear bait. There, yeah. By the pallets there, yeah. Well, what else do you got in this section? <clears throat> well, this is all cleaned out. You sold a lot of this, or just, this all, just gone, gone. So this is where you sold a lot of your stuff from. So yeah, this is this is the emptiest now. place I have right now. That looks like that's camp firewood. Camp that's firewood, for out yeah. the rack in front of the house. So this area right here will hold. Basically, every one of these blocks squares is 20 face course. So this is the 20 here. This is brand new. This is that big oak. If you guys remember that big oak that was out here down the middle Stuffed of here. Stuff that was 50 some inches. <laughs> this was a monster stuff. So this, I just did this this fall. This sometime. will be good next year then. Yeah. Well, or the next. Yep. Yep. So of course I got room for another 20 cords here. I'm just, I stick pallets everywhere I can. This wood here could be sold. This was older wood. Yeah, this has been here a while. This could be sold, but it'll go next year. And of course, there's room for another 20 cords here. So how long has this stuff been here? Because you're in the shade here. This is not a good drying spot. But if you keep it here for two, three years, it'll be dry. This wood, though, if you look, you can see it was reject railroad ties. Yeah. See, there's no bark on it. Right. So, so this stuff was fast. half dry when you cut when it. I cut it. I right. can see there's some paint down there. See some blue paint? Yep. So this was some of that reject wood I got from the mill. Right. Which in a big pile, it's bark off it. It's been sitting for two or three years. So it's three quarters dry when I cut it. So I'm, I could sell this next year, no problem. You got 10 rows wide here. Yeah, or two cord rows times 10, that's 20. Yeah, that's a big so block. So every of one of these blocks is 20. And there's my bear blocks there. Yep. Which are gonna be firewood eventually because they're getting old. Right. And you had a big, huge pile here, but that's all. There was 30 cords here. One customer took that, 30 cords, gone. Wow. That was a big pile. Yeah, it was a big pile. Holy smokes, look at this stuff. You put some work into that, huh? That's what I did uh, September. That was my September job. So uh, I scaled up these piles. So the guys that watch these videos, you guys remember when we hauled them lumber packs, some packs of lumber we got last, yep. that was last December. So that was almost right. exactly a year ago that I got yep. this. Yep. And we dumped them up there in a the field and they laid there all winter. Right. So I hauled them down here because they had room because there so, was there yeah. was 30 cords here too. That and I got when sold. you cut it, it was pretty dry already, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can see this stuff. Look at the look at the diameter. You got thin stuff, thicker stuff, thicker, wider. You got all so, different yeah, sizes I try to here. Pull some out here. It's got enough weight on it, but yeah. For me, I love it in the garage. Yeah, it's beautiful. You stack it up. So you, I don't probably know burns I get good. The, I bet. Get that board back in there, probably not. So, so I measured these is piles. This? There's 47 face cords of this stuff. Well, you got pallets here, but yeah, that's gotta be, oh yeah, here's the other side. You got a uh, bunch of wood here. Yeah, that was a long, tedious job. You got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, five wide. And they're long, no, they're like five cord rows. Yeah. So that's like 25 cords or something like that. Yeah. I don't even, without putting a tape on it, I don't know. It's, it's but I know when wide. I finish this pile and this pile here is the same thing. And you get another one. It was like 47 phase cords is what it came out to. Of lumber. <laughs> yep, lumber pad. Hard, it's all almost all hard maple. Yeah. Well, there's oak in there. There's too, a little oak in there. There's a little cherry in there. There's a little yellow birch in there. Well, here's a section. If you want to pull a couple out, just show yeah, me. Yeah, I just took sizes. that. I just took that home for so everything from from this size to. Yep. And I tried to cut it all 16 so it stacks. Yeah. This uh -huh. was a lot of work. But on the other hand, I didn't have to split it. Right. Right. And what I did is I laid stringers out here and I take my forks on my tractor and I'd lay it all down. And then I would stack up about four rows of lumber and I would mark it out with, with a pencil, you know, a, what do you marker. call it? Marker. Yeah. And then I would just take the big 395 and go whoop, 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 whoop. And I only had to go from here to there. 
yeah. here to there. That ain't so bad. And I would have four or five piles like that. I'd have one pile there, one pile there, one pile here, one pile there. And I would just move the pile from there to here, so I only ever had the pile like this. Right. And I didn't have all the pallets down. I did one pallet at a time. Right. So as I filled the row of pallets, I'd lay down another row of pallets. Right. So there's two things you did. Number one, you moved it and cut it where you're going to stack it. Yep. Save a lot of work. A lot, a lot of, of people handle their wood Way in the woods, much. cutting it and then loading it and then unloading it and then dumping and it. Nice and about stacking. this. There's no bark on it. Dude. Right. No bark. Well, but it's, the a, other thing, it's about a billion pieces, though. It's a lot of pieces. <laughs> like I say, you didn't have to split it. Nope. And uh, the bad thing is, is that the smaller you cut your wood, the more you got to handle it. It's not like grabbing big, huge chunks. Because <sighs> when price. you're stacking big boiler wood, it goes fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. But not this. <laughs> no, so this was a project. Yeah. You got some lumber saw. Yeah, man. I finally, finally got the rest of my white pine saw. I got two by fours and... One by twelves, a lot of one by twelves in there. I don't know if you can see there, but yeah, this stuff sawed out pretty nice. That's all white pine. And that's stuff you cut yourself, right? No. This well we had a wood yard down in Tony with the company. I mean this stuff I got this stuff like four years ago maybe. No kidding. And it was it was oversized for the mill. They couldn't take it. It was right. But it was pulp. It came in as pulp on a truck, and we we got out of that yard, and there was like a truckload of it. And my boss was just get make rid it, of it, make it go make away, make it go away. So okay. <laughs> so I called up my buddy Terry Foster, and he hauled it for me. I'm pretty sure Terry hauled this over oh. here. He hauled us up from Tony, and that's what's in that. That's the ugly stuff. What I did is I picked out the ugly stuff for camp firewood, right? And I picked all the nice stuff out. Said, man, that's too nice to cut up, right? Right. So I had it sawed. I got a buddy. That's another thing we could do. We could go to Howard's house, yeah. and saw some wood. It's not even on the list. Yeah, yeah, we made a list. We made a list last night when I got here. All the things we could do. We came up with about twenty different things. Yeah, we could do this all day. The problem long. is, we're supposed to get eight inches of snow today, so we're going to be more limited on what yeah. we want to do today. We're going to we we'll do this, and we're going to go on another video. We're going to do some bundling. And so we're this go is this stuff. is more of the railroad tie uh, cutoffs. So there's ten face cords of this right here, and this could be sold today. This is ready to go. And here again, you got looks like five wide. Should be five times two. Should yeah. be ten. Let's go over to where you got your metal wood. Oh, and then I've been uh, collecting pallets. I don't know if you noticed, like a pallets everywhere. Yeah, well, you got to get them when you can. Well, I'm at a point where I'm turning them down now because. Right. I I've, been, I've been getting much more picky on my pallets. If, if it's yeah. pine, I'm trying to not grab them. I try to just get the good old See, ones. I like these long ones, though, when I'm running these long piles like this. Right. So this is my latest here. And for the guys that have been on the channel, you see that old Green International up there? This pile is going to go all the way up to that truck eventually. Right. Well, this used to be where you had all of your big, huge, nasty, ugly... Well, there was truckloads here. Plus, I had finished wood here, too. So this is a month's work here for me. I actually worked on it for two months, but I went on so many trips and hunting trips this year, I was actually only here for a month in the last two months. And this smells is all like, oak. Smells like oak. This is all oak it. up till the smells next like pallet. Puke. Red oak. And then when you get now, this yep. is all right maple. maple. Yep. This is all maple here. You can smell that too. Totally different smell. So this is all the metal wood of all that junk I bought. The reject wood I bought last year. I think I bought like almost ten truckloads. Sure does look impressive when you see uh, how long some of these rows are. Yeah, but you got to imagine though, these rows are going to go all the way to that truck. Yeah, that's 100 yards well, away. What do you got over here? What's this? Well, that's the wood Chris promised he's going to promise. Uh, oh, process this is your process wood. Yeah, we're going to get that. I picked all the junk out. I hand cut it. This is what's left. Yeah, that's a be good processor wood. So yeah, that's going to be really nice stuff. But it's still dirty. I hit dirt yesterday. Yeah. Because it got moved around the wood yard there three or four times and it got rolled in the mud. And So tell people what some of these marks mean on here. 
Well, obviously the X means that's junk. Yeah. A lot of it is the square footage of the log. When you see some of them logs, and this is a, basically they get to the middle of the log and it might be rotten a little bit. Right. So this is just the, you know, this is like a ten. A, a ten. So I mean, about a hundred foot of whatever grade, about a two or a three. So what about the marks over here? And here's okay. eleven three. So yeah, it's so 110 feet of number three. It's a log. Yeah. But number three is a low grade log. Here's 30, three of three. So it's 30 feet of number three. A 10 inch log is a minimum, minimum size. A eight foot log that's 10 feet long, or I mean 10 inches, a 10 inch log, eight For foot long is log. 30 feet. For that's all log. you're ever gonna get. Right. You're never gonna get graded more than that. Right. So that's the minimum size a log could be, but. That's a crooked, nasty But see, it's got a big crotch in it. That's yeah. pulp. It's not a log. Right. Somebody snuck it in. Yeah, yeah. And 30. so they, then it gets kicked out and I buy it. Yeah. Now this is oak. I don't know why it's in the pile, but it could be the hit metal or something. Yeah. I don't know, because I mean, this is a cant. It's, it's squared. But I'll tell you what, that's some of the nicest wood in this pile. Oh yeah. A piece like that, that's like probably 12 or 14 inches square. That's beautiful and stuff. It's a year old, so it's been sitting out in the this field. Stuff, it's this drying stuff and... is probably two or three years oh, old. So it's gonna be starting to be pretty good and dry. It's pretty dang dry already. Yeah. Well the oak I mean there is gonna be a lot of loss. Like you see this rotten one here. All right. If that runs the length of that this stick. Is rotten too, it looks like. If this runs the length of that stick, the whole thing is junk. Yeah. See Maybe. where that smoke is coming out? That's where that's going to end up in that boiler. Yeah. Yeah. So Todd gets all my junk. He complains about it, but it's... It burns. It all burns. <laughs> that's right. Here's a good one right here. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah. But the other end looks good. I can see it runs. Yeah. Sometimes you got six feet of real mm. nice wood in it. Yep. You know. Like, here's a white oak. Yeah. Here's another oak. See, there's... So, a 72. 70 feet of number two. But for some reason it got kicked out. I don't know, if, you know. This is hickory, that's why this is picked out. Really? And that's a hickory, I picked that out too because I, I do have one guy that wants hickory occasionally. Yeah. So I gotta try not to cut those up. Yeah. And there's a metal one that I missed, the ML. ML, that's metal. That should have not been in this part. This should have been in the stuff right. over there. Well, we can pull that <clears> out <throat> just kind of look as we go. Well, I walked around this yesterday. See here, obviously, these are all junk. Right. But the other end might be like this. Right. You know, so I right. might get half the stick. I might get a quarter stick. You don't know. You take the good with the bad. I mean, if I was loading this at the mill myself, I'd pick out all the worst of it and I'd leave it behind. But when you hire a trucker, he's just grabbing a pile. He don't right, care. Right. They're... He's getting paid for a load. He don't care what's in it. Right. Just get it done. And then what's this over here? <coughs> what's that wood? Same stuff. Oh, just more, huh? More of the same. So this is the only pile that I'm not going to cut this year just in case todd needs wood next year yeah and i do have a guy that want that buys wood for me whole you know like just like that so it's either going to go to him or it's going to go to todd unless you get super low and you just need to cut wood there it is yeah this one here i'm going to take to the sawmill this is a curly maple oh so well, they see, weren't supposed to kick that out were that they? should not have been kicked out but i got it yeah, the so there's 70 curl. feet number one curl. So that's a good piece of it, wood. Until you put us run it through the sawmill, you don't know. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get some good stuff out of that. Yeah, it looks like a good one. And then all this. So this is all the same stuff as what's down there. Right. But this is up in the corner, out of the way. Right. This is where we had all them lumber packs yeah, last right year. Yep. That took me quite a while. Yeah. It looks good. So there it is. That's it for today, folks. You know what to do. Poke the button tomorrow. We're going to be doing more work in Ken's wood yard or cutting wood or we're bundling wood. We're going something. to be working. We'll do something. I'm going to be here at Ken's place for a few days. So you're going to see probably the next week's worth of videos from Ken's. So we'll do a couple of videos every day. So you're going to get to see a lot of him. Whether that's good or bad, I'm not sure. But that's it for today. Poke some buttons. We'll be back tomorrow. Good night, Irene.